assalamu alaikum friends my name is muhammad yunus and i am udo technical developer in today's video i am going to talk about how to add custom fonts in udo qa pdf report so for this purpose the first step is uh, to download the custom font and then we will add it in the uh, qa pdf report so in order to download uh, the the custom font uh, we will use uh, google fonts okay so you can go to uh, google and search for google fonts so you will see this page so on this page uh, we need to first select like which font uh, we want to download and use you can use multiple fonts uh, at the same time and i will uh, try it so i have just selected two fonts which i want to use and uh, you just need to uh, download it from this page so let me just show you how you can do it for example you need to select this then you click on the get fonts okay and then you need to click on the download r okay so download r means that all these three fonts will be downloaded and if you want to download it one by one you can just click the download button okay so uh, i need to use uh, these two um, fonts i have already downloaded this uh, font so you will see it under my download page you just need to unzip these uh, two files uh, and after that we need to go to the custom module so in our module uh, we need to create static file inside the static we need to use we need to create src file and inside the src file uh, we need to uh, create fonts okay so let me create a file with the name fonts so as we want to use uh, two different fonts, so we will create two different directories. So for example, for uh, this font, I will create a directory with its name. Uh, let me just do it. For example, uh, like this. And then um, I will need, I will have to open it and just copy the file with the extensions .ttf okay so just copy it and then paste it here like this so you will see the file like this so for multiple uh, fonts you need to create multiple directories with at the name of the font for example in this case the name of the font is this one let me just copy it and paste it here and in this case if i open this directory you will see uh, these are the different ttf files and let me just copy it and go here and paste here like this if you go back and open the static file you will see all these static fonts uh, which you can use like for the bold one you can use this one bold italic extra bold so all these static fonts uh, style are available so we just need to copy all these and we will use it okay just paste it here like this after that, uh, you need to add this into the CSS file. So we just need to create a CSS file for the fonts. For example, uh, fonts.css. And inside this, uh, we, we need to use uh, the font face. For example, font face like this and this body. So here we need to use uh, First, we need to use like to specify the name for the font family. Uh, you can say like font family. And here you need to specify the name. Uh, for this one, like uh, you just need to specify the name, which is uh, like obvious to the user and easy to use, easy to understand. So let me just copy the name and remove the extension. And then uh, I need to add the path here source and then here add url so inside the url you need to define uh, the absolute path to this uh, directory and this file so for example if, let me copy the path and like this paste it remove this directory name we need to add the path like that starts from the module name until the last uh, file okay and then you need to specify the format here so in this case it is uh, like ttf which is uh, true type so i need to specify here true type 
so there are different formats uh, available uh, and it uh, some formats don't work in some browser and some are working like uh, in all it is basically uh, the format is basically used uh, like to optimize uh, the font style so in some cases some formats are very optimized and they don't too much time to load but in some cases it takes time okay so this is this is only one format that we have added if you want to add multiple fonts you can just uh, copy the same thing and for example in this case i want to add this uh, extra bold okay so let me just uh, copy it like this and paste it here just remove the directory name and here we will add extra bold this name so you need to add a unique name so that uh, it does not override okay the rest will remain the same and then the next step is uh, to add this CSS file in the manifest uh, in the assets so let me just open the manifest we have uh, defined a direct a dictionary for the assets and then we have added a CSS file which is for the Udo backend so this CSS is basically for the report and it means that we need to add this in the assets report so for this purpose we we have web dot um, report assets and then common okay and here we need to define it like this this and here we need to add the path to this a CSS file that we just created for the phones so let me just copy it and like this paste it remove the directory name we need to add the absolute path like uh, for, that starts from the module name and uh, till the file okay and not this not dot but comma okay so this is like we have loaded uh, this font and then we loaded this font okay so if you want to load uh, like all these fonts and if you want to use them you can but uh, keep in mind that if you add many uh, if you load many uh, fonts it will take too much time so in order to keep it optimized just use the uh, fonts that you are really using in the uh, report okay in order to uh, like use in the pdf report you can just add it just like a simple uh, css uh, that we add in the report there are two ways to do it one is uh, like you can add it uh, using inline css for example if i want to use it here i can just add a tag with the name style and then font uh, family like this and then a colon and here i will def add uh, the name of the uh, font style so for example in the css file i have added this like a regular one so let me just see so this is the one uh, that i want to use for the ad header so i will copy it this is the font family that i want to use for this header and paste it this is it and just hit this colon and let me restart go to service and then uh, upgrade the module so go to apps so uh, after the module upgrade we will try to print the report to see if uh, the fonts has been added and let me go to the open academy module and uh, go to the course and then click the print button to print the report so this is our custom module which we have already developed and uh, if you are not following uh, us from the start you can just check our youtube channel Udo discussion uh, where you will find uh, different courses related to different Udo versions so you can check this Udo 16 technical course uh, which is very useful so here it is if we open it so here it is you can see the font has been added and if we see the default report not the default but the one that we have ad developed before uh, adding the font uh, family so this is the font family that we have added which is this one like this 
So uh, this is one way to add it uh, using inline CSS. But if you want to add uh, like with the style here, so for example, I will add style tag. And then in this style, uh, I will define like where I want to which uh, uh, font family. For example, for the H2 tag, I want to use this family. So I will just copy it. Sorry, I will copy this one and this, remove the style and then add it here. So this means that uh, everywhere the H2 tag is used, it will uh, add this font family to H2. And for example, for uh, TR, uh, not for TR, but for TD, we want to use the other font uh, family, which is, uh, let me show you in the fonts test css file i want to use this one okay but keep in mind that this is extra bold so uh, if you use extra bold for the content it will not be good so in order to uh, do it we will add another one which is uh, let me open it uh, we will use uh, light italic okay so let me just copy it and then paste it here like this and remove this directory and then uh, copy the name which is this one and paste it here so what we can do we can use this bold one uh, for the header section of the table which is uh, th uh, th and for the td we will use uh, this one okay this one for the TD on family and the other one for the TH okay so as this is the bold one so for the bold one we want to use for a header okay this is it we have added um, changes in the XML so we will have to upgrade the module and then uh, we will have to uh, print the report again. Okay, so let me try to print the report again. Okay, so the report is printed. If we open it, uh, you can see that a different style has been added for different sections, like for the header. We have added uh, one font style and another font style font family for the table header and for the table content. We have used the third font family. So this is how you can add the font family and fonts different fonts in the QA PDF report. And uh, and also we have discussed how you can add the custom CSS. So um, if you want to add any CSS files uh, for the a pdf you just need to edit under the directory under the dictionary report assets common so if you enjoyed this video and if you think this is useful so please uh, subscribe to our channel and also share this video with your friends uh, and also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos thank you